Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandra and I'm a nurse practitioner. And today's video is going to be a simple demonstration on how to check a blood sugar. So if you're a nursing student or you're newly diagnosed with diabetes or you have a family member that needs help with checking their blood sugar, this video is going to be a quick guide on how to do that. Okay, so glucometers can look different, but they all function pretty much the same way. So this is basically how a home kit will look. You'll have the glucometer, you'll have your test strips, and you'll have your lancing device. And it's in here that you're going to load your lancets, which are used to poke the finger. So the lancing device is what holds the lancets. So the top will just twist off like that. And in here is where you're going to just load a new lancet. So just slip that in there. And then this protective device can be twisted off and that exposes the needle. And then you're going to twist the cap back on top, just like that. This little number device here is going to adjust the depth of the poke. So if you want a more shallow poke, you're going to put it all the way down to one and adjust it upwards until you get the blood sample amount you need. If you know that you need a deeper poke or you have callous fingertips, then you can go up to a higher number, maybe a three or four or five. I believe this device goes all the way up to seven. Without knowing the depth of your skin though, you don't want to start at the highest number because that could cause a lot of pain. So if you're unsure of a number, start at a lower number and work your way up. Technically, you're only supposed to use the lancet once and should never be used on another person. So once you have picked a number, you can go ahead and load it and on this one, you just slide this little device down and you hear a click and it's loaded. So all you have to do now is press that button and it will poke your finger when you're ready. So next you're going to take a test strip and load it into your glucometer. Make sure you check the expiration date on the bottle to make sure they're not expired. And you're just gonna slip out one test strip. Make sure you reclose it after each time opening it because it's an airtight container and air can damage the strips if it's left open. So this is a typical test strip. The end with the arrow is where you're going to hold the blood drop up to the strip and it will wick up the drop of blood. The other end will be inserted into the glucometer. And so you're just going to take the strip and load it into the device. Almost every glucometer works this way where you just slip it in and it'll turn it on. And then it's right away says apply a drop. So before you check your glucose, make sure you wash your hands well with soap and water and they are dry. If you're in the clinical setting, wipe your patient's fingertip with an alcohol swab and allow it to dry. It is typically recommended to use the side of a finger pad and so you'll just press it on there. So you're just going to load it and then you're going to press the button on the device and it'll poke the finger. You can squeeze the finger a little bit to get some blood to come to the surface. Most test strips don't require much blood at all, so just a little sample should be sufficient. If it doesn't happen to be enough blood, the glucometer will let you know. So I'm just going to demonstrate on myself exactly how you would do a glucometer check. So most of these devices now have the ability to upload its data to a computer, but if you are still using an old-fashioned logbook, make sure you record your number in the logbook right after taking your glucose so you have the correct time. You can also go back in the glucometer and see the time you checked your glucose if you happen to forget. So after you have used the lancet, you just untwist the top and that will expose the needle. This specific kind, you can use the top and poke it onto the needle so that it's covered and it won't poke you or anyone else. 
and then you can remove the whole device and throw that into a sharps container. The lancing devices in a clinical setting are typically a one-time use and you will just throw the whole device into the sharps container when you are done. And so in the clinical setting, make sure you grab a couple of lancing devices because you may not get blood on the first try since you don't know the patient's depth and they are just a one-time use. So if you are going to be using a glucometer quite a bit, if you are a newly diagnosed patient with diabetes, or you have a family member that is going to be needing assistance with checking their blood sugar, you would want to familiarize yourself more with the glucometer. And all that information can be found in the user manual. It'll show you how to change the time. It'll show you how to do quality checks. Everything you need to know about your glucometer can be found in the user manual that comes with your glucometer. All right, you guys, so I hope that simple demonstration was helpful. It's very easy to check a blood sugar once you know how to do it, but the first time may be a bit intimidating with all the supplies. And so I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get all my new videos. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.